Sam Bankman Fried makes new bid for bail following denial of first request. Here's the latest. The Sam Bankman Fried saga continues. The FTX exchange founder submitted another bail request just two days after his first one was denied, according to recent reports. Bankman Fried made the bail application before the Bahamas Supreme Court, Reuters reported on Friday, citing a source familiar with the matter. Furthermore, the Bahamas Eyewitness News also reported the news and added that the Supreme Court would hear the bail application on January 17, though it did not cite its sources. The news outlet further stated that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Fred Mitchell, said, the FTX issue was a business failure in the jurisdiction where the failure took place has nothing to do with the actual alleged crimes, and, that businesses in the Bahamas will survive despite the situation. Try and try again. The new application comes after a judge rejected Bankman Fried's request for bail just two days earlier, on Tuesday. Therefore, the disgraced founder is currently staying at a Bahamian detention center until February 8, while he awaits a hearing on his extradition to the United States, given that the Chief Magistrate Joy and Ferguson Pratt denied the earlier request for Bankman Fried to stay at his home. The experience is unlikely to be a pleasant one, given the reported state of the detention center he is held at. As reported, the conditions at Fox Hill were described by a 2021 U.S. State Department report as harsh. Problems include overcrowding, a lack of toilets, and rodents sharing a living space. Commissioner of Correctional Services, Don Clear, however, claimed that the conditions have improved since then, with most facilities having been renovated. Bankman Fried was arrested in the Bahamas on December 12 after U.S. prosecutors formally charged him with financial crimes. The U.S. Attorney of the Southern District of New York indicted him on eight criminal charges, including wire fraud and conspiracy by misusing customer funds. If convicted on all counts, he could face up to 115 years in prison. Separately, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged Bankman Fried with orchestrating a scheme to defraud equity investors in FTX. Meanwhile, John Ray III, the new FTX CEO, revealed on Tuesday that the new leadership has secured more than $1 billion of digital assets to protect against the risk of theft or unauthorized transfers. At 10.30 UTC on Friday morning, FTX's native FTT coin was trading at $1.31, down 3.3% in a day and 4.1% in a week. Overall, it dropped 30% in 30 days and 97% in a year.